Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for December 2nd through December 8th. And I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll be pulling some cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box if you want. So let's take a look. So, not too much clarification needed. Uh, for the overall energy here, you get the Emperor. Um, you're standing in your power here. You know what you want. You're in control. You got this, pretty much, you know. Uh, there are some bumps here and there, but overall, you're good. You got it. Ha! Huh. In your recent past, you get the King of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of Wands. Power couple. Really great things here, apparently for this king and queen you know happiness rainbows unicorns all of that nice stuff here in your current situation you get the ace of swords the nine of swords and the nine of wands a little bit defensive here a little bit protective of your heart a little bit something happened something happened that kind of made you back off a little bit kind of um you have your boundaries up, pretty much. You have your walls up. And it's making you um, not so happy. It's making you feel really down, really like you need to watch your back um, all the time. That's how you feel, at least, for some reason. But you want to be done with this crap, you know, with this kind of uh, defensiveness on your part. Um, in your immediate future, you get the Nine of Cups, the Lovers, and the Ace of Pentacles. Everything looks perfect in your immediate future. It's looking like you're getting your wish fulfillment. You and this person are ready for this brand new powerful beginning here. Now, let's see what's underneath all that. Let's see. Let's clarify the Emperor. Somebody may have uh, tried to walk away from you here, or you felt it. It's more of a feeling kind of energy that, oh my God, this person is pulling away from me, you know? Um, and that actually brought you into your emperor mode. You know, you got it here twice. It was kind of like a wake up call for you where you figured, I got to step up my game. You know how people get really comfortable in a connection or you know in a friendship and they don't really put up put in the work anymore I feel like that's what happened to you you felt a little bit of uh, your person pulling away and that actually lift lift lifted lift yeah. uh, that placed you into the Semper um, energy you know where you had to step up your game a little bit which was good I feel Let's do the Ten of Cups in your recent past. I'm not... I don't have much to clarify. This might be a short one for you. Um, we'll see. Let's do the Ten of Cups here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I may have a lot to clarify now. Um... It wasn't the way that love was given in this connection. It may not have been um, reciprocated. You know, it may not have been mutual. It seems like it was only given, or that's how it was interpreted at least. It was only given um, in exchange for something. You know, that's what it's looking like to me. 
and yeah here's the waiting card kind of like I'm gonna give you love and I'm gonna wait here to see the result of that you know I'll be right here waiting you know it wasn't true it wasn't honest for some reason that could be you that could be your person either one let's do the ace of swords in your current situation You two are coming together here with the Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. This strong, strong energy of coming back together with somebody from the past. A strong soulmate to you. Uh, things were pretty crappy and things still feel heavy here between the two of you. But there's a chance here for a brand new beginning for the two of you. You know, it's coming in fast, it's coming in forceful, and it's looking like the two of you are in that place, energetically at least, where... You can make this happen, you know? Uh, let's do the Nine of Swords. Ah, Aquarius, there it is. You're trying to manifest your way out of this pain. Uh, you're using your intuition a lot. However, I feel like you're a little bit confused on how to do that, that, on how to manifest, on how to stick with your intuition, where you feel that, yeah, this feels right to me. And then maybe your ego steps in and you hear a voice in your head saying, really? Does that feel right to you? And then you start doubting yourself. And then, you know, you're kind of... You're in this game of manifesting and of trusting yourself, but I feel like you're just beginning, you know, to listen to it and to stop listening to this little voice that actually prevents you from doing things. And I feel like it's painful to you, you know, to to go through this process because, yeah, it's it's tricky. It's confusing at first when when this happens, you know when you can't really distinguish what's right, what's wrong, should I go by what I feel, should I not, you know. So I feel like you're in this little bit of story here with that. It's going to go away. It's going to get better and better. Yeah. Let's do the Nine of Wands for you. <clears throat> Yeah, see, you're, um, I feel like you're in this period of time, which is actually really, really awesome, um, where you're healing um, pretty much what you believe in, what you stand for, you know, um, where before maybe you didn't talk to people a lot about the things you believe in, about um, even watching these kinds of videos, you know, people are a little reluctant sharing what they're into these days. And I feel like you're actually in the process of healing that and be like, yeah, I watch these videos or yeah, I meditate or things like that, you know, without feeling like, oh my God, what would my friends say about that? Or what would my mom say about it? Who gives a crap? You know, um, you're getting there. I feel like that's what you're healing now, standing up for what you believe in. Let's um, clarify. <laughs> Not many things to clarify anymore. Let's do let's do the lovers in your immediate future. Let's go there. Let's go there. Ah. <laughs> so in regards to this connection, yeah, you do feel a very strong pull towards that person, all right? And you're going to go within, and I feel like you're going to reach the conclusion that um, you're not going to invest love in it anymore. You know, not until you see something from the other person as well. Um, maybe in the past you were the one that was giving more, you know, in this situ situation, situation um, where I mentioned 
in your recent past that maybe somebody was giving more, somebody was giving to get so out. Huh? Why? To get something out of it. You know, and I feel like you're done. You're done giving until you know it's balanced, until you know it's going to come back. And it's not one of those things where I need to give so that I can get back. No, it's just a waste of energy and of feelings if you're giving in a situation and it's just you giving and that's it. And that's why these things happen, you know. So let me clarify. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles here. Let's see if there is a coming back to you. Ooh. <clears throat> There's something coming up for you right here at the end of the reading where I feel like you're going to present... Why can't I speak? You're going to be presented with several options here. You know, and love and somebody's coming in for you. Somebody that's very stable, very grounded, uh, that can offer you, that can reciprocate. That's what it's all about in this reading, you know. And they can offer you a whole lot and it's making you actually feel great that you're going to make this choice. So I feel like this is somebody new possibly, could be the same person for some of you. I do feel it as somebody new, though. So, it's looking like you're getting it, you know? Getting what you want here. It may not present itself through the same person, but it's the energy of what you want, and that's reciprocity here, you know? So, let me pull up some cards here from the universe for you. Same thing. Where did I... I got this before. Did I? Did I not? Well, whatever the case, you're manifesting, you're using your intuition, you're manifesting the two of you to get back together here. And that's where you're at currently. You know, you and your soulmate here in this reading. You're you're doing your best. I kind of see you meditating like crazy, um, manifesting them back into your life. And I feel like it's going to work. You know, it's, it's looking like it's happening. There's too much of a manifestation power here for it not to work out. So I feel like it's going to happen. Again, for some of you, this... Getting together might mean a new person, somebody that you may know from a previous life. So you are manifesting something good coming your way, something that you actually want. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Um, hope this helped, and I will see you next time. Bye.